Hello everybody. I'm going to make a quick video and uh, show you how to um, set your personal meeting ID so your link will be the same for your live group Zoom meeting every time. So here we go. <clears throat> I am going to sign in to Zoom. Okay, I'm signed in in Emily Claire's account because it is basic. So here I'm at my profile. You can see that I have a personal meeting ID and my link will be the same every time if I do one setting. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to meetings. I'm going to schedule my new meeting. I'm gonna say it's Emily Claire's life group and it's our eighth grade girls LG and when is it gonna be? It's gonna be this Sunday, <clears throat> and we're gonna actually do it at 1 p.m., and it's gonna last an hour. Here we go. So, what we want to do is this right here is our big difference. We want to not generate automatically. We want it to be our personal meeting ID. Booyah. That's what we need right here, and this number in your Zoom account will always stay the same. So anytime now I, I schedule a life group meeting, I'm gonna do this every week, but I'm gonna be sure and select personal meeting ID. We could make a recurring meeting, but that might get a little weird if you ever switch times. It's better if you just create a new one, but always click that personal meeting ID so your link will always be the same, okay? I'm gonna start with host video and the participant video, both and then um, Sometimes it's good to mute participants upon entry, and then all these things are good. You don't want a waiting room because then you have to approve people when they come in, um, and you probably don't want them to be able to join before you. So then I'm gonna hit save, and now we're good to go. And look, this link, this, this Zoom ID, that's my personal ID number, and that's always gonna stay the same. That meeting ID and that personal ID, that link is always gonna stay the same. So if I do that, um, I won't have to send a new link out every week, okay? And what this is going to allow us to do um, is to gather everybody's group, uh, everybody's ID number, and then we'll be able to have that documented. So if people reach out to us, we can send them your ID and, uh, and they can get right into the group on Sunday morning if we know what time it's meeting, etc. So... Uh, that's kind of our next step. That's kind of the Zoom 201. We want to make sure that everybody's involved in, okay? So be sure and do that, and then send us your personal ID number and uh, what time you're going to be meeting, and uh, we'll compile all those and make sure we're getting as many students connected as possible, which is what we want. Thank you so much for shepherding our students during this time, and uh, let me know if you have any questions, of course. All right, bye.